Expectations are high as Zambians get ready for the 2011 general elections built for September. However, sentiments by the U.S. State Department on projections of violence amid the polls have raised concern among various stakeholders, including the church, civil society organizations, and political parties. But National Assemblies of God Overseer Joshua Banda says Zambians are peace lovers who will always protect their country. He added that Zambia must record a good legacy by maintaining a good atmosphere at the time of elections. Our people love peace. They cherish peace. And my encouragement is that we maintain that as Zambians. From a church angle, we are praying to the God of peace to make sure that he will grant us the capacity, the will, and, and, and the largeness of heart for every single citizen to see that uh, a good name is uh, of great value. And as uh, Zambia want to maintain a good name. And Patriotic Front Kabata parliamentary aspirant Given Lubinda says it is the duty of all politicians and Zambians as a whole to preserve peace as it is the nature of people to do so. He says peace is a treasure the entire citizenry must protect without engaging in acts leading to its loss. It is not the end that justifies the means. For us the process is as important as the outcome. And I wouldn't like to be a leader in a country where leadership is acquired by the loss of blood. I wouldn't be a proud member of parliament if I was sitting in parliament and I always look back and see bloodshed in the process that took me into parliament. I therefore would like to appeal to all politicians in Zambia to take this introspective view and ask ourselves what is it that we're doing wrong and can we please change so that we can give confidence to ourselves, confidence to people outside our country and confidence to all Zambians. Meanwhile, the Foundation for Democratic Process through Executive Director McDonald Chipenzi has rated Zambia as a peace builder, a position it ought to maintain. I think in Zambia is the only country in the region uh, that has not experienced uh, major political uh, violence. One, to desist from, any, uh, from engaging themselves in any activities that will breach the peace. We also call on all political party cadres. Uh, to respect each other and also to maintain peace in their campaigns. He called on parties to also focus on issues during this year's election campaigns. For those on the political front, it is their duty to lobby for a peaceful electoral process from their followers. All have a role to play in preserving peace that has been enjoyed since independence, even with change in governments. The country therefore has an obligation of maintaining the peace builder status it has had over the last four decades in the region.